Hiya lovelies, I'm Sarah Freya and it is an absolute pleasure to have you, yes you specifically, here at my channel. Whether you're here because you also have long hair or your autoplay absolutely doesn't know your interests, I'm very happy to have you here. I often, and by often I mean every day, get comments and questions about my hair, uh, how I grow it, how I keep it healthy, all that jazz. And while I'm very happy, I've just repeated the same advice so many times that I'm worried about the health of my mandibles from repeated actions. So I thought the best course of action would be to make a few videos with the same advice so I can just refer people here, give myself a break. And this particular video will focus on three of my absolute favorite hair oils that I use every single week to keep my hair healthy, to keep it shiny, to keep it healthy. Um, I said healthy twice, whatever, it's one of those days. This routine I would say is perfect if you are low maintenance, lazy, and absolutely hate spending time on things. I would describe it as minimal time for maximal time spent on other things that you like to do. It's also pretty cost effective because these are um, simple oils. There's no extra stuff added. Sometimes it's best to keep it natural for both your budget and your hair. I will also just say before we get into it, each person has individual needs for their hair. So these work for me. There might be other oils that work better for you. So if you're interested in having a second follow-up video on three other oils that I have used and liked, um, I'm happy to make that. Just let me know in the comments, give this video a like, subscribe, press the bell. Up. I'm not gonna tell you to use YouTube. You know how to use YouTube, but you can let me know if you'd like another video detailing even more oils that you can explore and try to find the perfect one that's right for you. So without any more spiel and any more of whatever this is, let's just get right into it. Now the first oil I would like to discuss with you for hair health is jojoba oil. Jojoba oil comes from the crushed beans of the jojoba shrub and it is an oil that is rich in vitamin A, vitamin E, omega fatty acids, antioxidants, and palmitic and stearic acid which are good conditioners for the hair which can help with dandruff and dry scalp. Jojoba oil is also very good at helping to balance excess sebum and the high amount of antioxidants found in this oil is great if you have dyed hair or hair that's had a lot of heat styling tools used on it because it can help protect against the free radical damage. In a jojoba shrub shell, <laughs> That totally doesn't work. Uh, in a nutshell, jojoba oil, I would say, is great to strengthen and thicken hair. Uh, one of the biggest pros is that it's great for hair that has either dandruff or that's been, let's say, well used, whether it's uh, dyed or heat styling. My biggest con would be, uh, specifically for this one, is the texture. Um, it can be a little bit finicky and often you need to rub it between your hands. This particular one is like, a solid at certain temperatures and you need to rub it between your hands before you can apply it. I don't know why I did this on camera. This is like the dumbest thing. Um, and I find the scent quite strong. But other than that, it's a great product to use. Um, I'm just gonna like rub this in because I don't know. Okay, I totally, I, totally, I totally need to get rid of this before I continue. Okay, now that my hands are jojoba oil free, um, the way in which I use jojoba oil is after a shower on hair that is still either damp or wet, I like to take about a teaspoon amount, rub it between my hands until it turns into an oil, and I rub my scalp in circular motions. So I wanna increase circulation so I can bring blood and delicious nutrients to the hair follicles, and I basically continuously rub it for about, I would say a minute or two. I just put on music and just kind of vibe it out. And I make sure to get all points of my scalp. I find this keeps my hair relatively dandruff free and it helps keep my scalp very moisturized. So I don't get that dry and itchy feeling ever. Uh, like I said, I do that about, I would say once a week after a shower. I'm not saying I shower once a week. I just mean once a week after I shower. Um, I do that and I just leave it in and it does a lot of beautiful wonders. Something else that I like to do is just put it um, towards the bottom of my hair on my split ends. Not too much because it can look a little bit heavy or greasy, but just a little bit uh, towards the bottoms to keep it nice and good. My favorite jojoba oils based on international markets are 
in Canada, this Now Solutions Cocoa Butter with Jojoba Oil combo. In the US, the Piping Rock Organic Jojoba Oil. In the UK, the Aromantic Natural Skin Care Organic, Organic Jojoba Oil. And in Europe, uh, I like the um, Les Mauvaises Herbes Huile de Jojoba that they sell. Um, I got it in France, but I'm pretty sure they ship all throughout. I'll write everything down. So that's jojoba oil. Let's move on to the next one. The subsequent oil I would like to discuss with you is castor oil. Now, um, this used to be in a beautiful castor oil bottle, but I broke the top and put it into whatever this is. So let's just use our collective imagination here for what this used to look like. And um, I'll put a photo of what it used to be somewhere. Castor oil is a vegetable oil that comes from castor beans. It is very rich in vitamin E, omega-6, and thanks to its ricinoleic acid, very, very, very rich in omega-9. It also has antimicrobial properties and antibacterial properties, which makes it very good for dandruff and dry scalp. People like to claim that castor oil magically grows your hair. No, it is not a miracle growth, but it can promote the perfect conditions by hydrating your hair and alleviating dry scalp to have a healthier hair overall. The way in which I use castor oil in my routine, which is similar to jojoba oil, is I take about uh, a teaspoon out again um, and I rub it in circular motions all over my scalp for about a minute to two minutes. And then I take another, for me, it's a little bit more than a tablespoon, but for most people's hair, about a tablespoon. And I rub it through all of my strands. And essentially what I do is I then braid my hair and then I put it in a hair cap and I leave it for about an hour to three hours. You could even do it overnight if you like. And then I wash it all out with shampoo and conditioner. This is something I do about once a week. I'll either do jojoba oil or I'll do castor oil once a week. And I essentially do that. I wash the whole thing out and it leaves my hair feeling so soft. And this is the perfect one I would say for the winter time. It's super hydrating and super good for dry scalp. My biggest pro with castor oil is that it is incredible in the winter time. It's super hydrating and I really like the scent. My biggest con is that it's more time intensive because I usually have to wash it out and I have to plan a longer period of time in order to use it. So you need to be a little bit more mindful about that. However, it produces lovely results in my opinion. Castor oils that I like to use in different international markets are in Canada, the Now Solutions 100% Castor Oil. In the US, the Sky Organics 100% Castor Oil. In the UK, the Soapery Castor Oil. And in the EU, I think they both ship uh, EU-wide, either Huile de Ricin by um, Actibilan in France, or the Malinica, which is a Slovenian brand's castor oil. Those are the ones I use and love. All right, so let's get into the next oil. Now the next oil I would like to talk to you about is, drum roll please, argan oil. Argan oil comes from the seeds of the argan tree. Argan oil is very rich in vitamin E, squalane, fatty acids, and antioxidants, and it also contains high levels of phenols, which coupled with the the antioxidants helps promote um, and strengthen the hair follicle, and it promotes cell production in the scalp. I am very, very biased towards argan oil because I am part Moroccan, and I've been using this forever. I use it on my face, on my body, on my hair, everything. And I also love the scent. It's like a lovely comforting salad with a little bit of a nutty undertone, if you will. Um, I'm gonna try not to be too biased and talk about this in the same way. I use jojoba oil and castor oil for my scalp. I tend to use argan oil for the mid to bottom ends of my hair. The way in which I use argan oil is after a shower, my hair is still wet or damp. I apply a generous amount to the, um, I would say like three quarter length of my hair down to the bottom, uh, especially focusing on the split ends. 
and I also apply a light smuttering just throughout my hair. It's very good to detangle your hair and it's also good if you blow dry your hair because it can help protect from heat damage. Something else that I really like about it is that it actually absorbs very quickly and can add shine to your hair. So it adds this beautiful sheen and it's lightweight enough that it doesn't feel greasy. So it's a perfect oil to use all year round, especially in the summer when you still want some hydration for your hair, but you don't want to feel absolutely bogged down. My biggest pro for argan oil is that it is easy to use. You can use it after a shower. It adds shine, it helps protect against heat. Um, you can use it all year round. The negative stuff I would say is that it's a little bit more expensive, especially for a good one. And um, you need to contend with the fact that tree goats in Morocco eat the argan fruit and poop it out and people collect the seeds from the poop and crack it open to take out the nut to, I'm not gonna say milk the nut, but uh, to obtain the oil from the nut. So you need to contend with that fact. If you are able to sleep with yourself and use this and live with yourself and use this, then it's all well and good. I just figured I should mention that. Maybe it would have been better to leave you in ignorance, but I give you the facts. The card hold facts. Card hold. Hard cold facts! <laughs> if you can contend with the uh, tree goat poop argan oil situation, <laughs> and the argan oils that I recommend you try are in Canada, the African Essentials by Kerryderm 100% virgin argan oil. In the US, The Ordinary makes actually a very lovely argan oil. In the UK, the organic, ha ha ha, uh, organic argan oil. And in the EU, the Huile d'Argan Bio by Les Mauvaises Herbes. Again, I'll write everything in the description, so it's easy peasy. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tagging along and listening to the three oils that I absolutely adore and incorporate into my general hair care routine. This is one video I will do on my hair care routine. I'm going to do my best to get out a number of them this month so that, again, I don't have to repeat this a thousand bajillion gazillion million times uh, to all the people that ask and probably will continue to ask same question, I can just revert them here. Also, those same people, they always ask and I tell them and then they forget. So there's no excuse now. You can just come back here and get all the information. If this video was useful and you'd like a follow-up video on other amazing oils to try for your hair, let me know in the comments, give this video a like, if you want to support my channel in a way that is free, um, subscribe, press the bell icon, all that jazz. Hiya, editing Sarah and Alphonse here. Um, I forgot to say all the good stuff. So follow me at Sarah Freya on all of my socials, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, at Sarah Freya. Also go to my blog, www.sarahfreya.com. S-A-R-A-H-F-R-E-I-A.com for more um, travel, fashion, recipes, coffee, and just general wiener dog and good stuff. So please follow me there, hit the bell icon, and always check back here because I post a video every first and third Sunday of the month. It has been an absolute delight having you here. I hope you have an amazing and wonderful and phenomenal rest of your day. Bisous.